Good morning, Year 7. Today we are solving geometry problems. It says at the top of the page here, some geometry problems will involve using two or more ideas from the rules that you have learned in order to be able to solve them. It is important that you always provide mathematical reasoning for your answers. So we're going to look at two questions here. And you can see that the questions look quite busy. There's quite a lot of information on there, which is different from some of the other questions that we've been looking at. All of the capital letters that we have on here, so the A, B, capital C, D, E, F, those are not things that we're trying to find. Those capital le letters are ways of naming the different points that are along this diagram. The only thing that we are required to find is the value of little a, which is over here in this angle. Now, to do this, I may, most likely, because of what we just read in the theory above, have to do more than one step. The problem is, is that the only number that I have is this 170. I also have a right angle over here. And none of those are really connected with the A over here. So, in order to answer this question, the first thing I'm going to have to do is find this missing angle in here, which conveniently has a D in it, so I'm going to call this angle D. Now D, with the 170 and the 90 degree angle, so I'll put a little 90 in here as a reminder, they are all going around a point, so that means they're going to add to 360 degrees. So starting with the D, D plus the 170 plus the 90 is equal to 360 degrees because angles at a point equal 360. To solve that equation, I need to add together the 170 and the 90. So that's D plus 260 is equal to 360. Then I just have the one number, the 260, which I'm going to subtract from both sides to find that D is equal to 100 degrees. So I'm going to put that over here on my diagram. That's 100 degrees for that angle there. Remember, I'm still trying to find out what the A is. So if I draw arms around the A now and arms around the D that I've just found, you can see that that's making an upside down or maybe a bit sideways F shape. That means that the A is going to be equal to the 100 because they are corresponding angles. And I write that as corresponding or corresp angles are equal. Okay, so I had to do two steps, even though there's only one letter, which was A, that I had to find. I needed to do an extra step to help me get there and so that I could give reasons for what I have done. Let's try another question. Question C. So you can see we have some parallel lines in here again. The thing that is interesting about this question is that these two angles together are making a C shape, so if you draw around those together and around the 70, they are making a C shape. So that means all three of those angles <coughs> would need to add to give 180. So let's start with the A, A plus 60, so that's the first angle, and then plus the 70 is equal to 180 degrees. This is because co-interior angles equal 180. To solve the equation, I'm going to have to add these numbers together first. 60 plus 70 makes 130. And then doing the opposite, I'm going to minus 130, which tells me that A is equal to 50 degrees. Okay, so be careful with these questions. Make sure you give reasons for everything that you do. Have a try of your workbook pages 41 through to 43.